Since the dawn of time, if you didn't want to do your own driving, you had to pay somebody else to do it for you. Somebody usually called Jenkins or Jeeves. And then as we became more sophisticated and technology became better and self-driving cars came along, we still had to pay for the privilege. We had to pay someone called Tesla or Mercedes-Benz. Well, now that's all changing because this is Nissan's very first self-driving car. It's called the Nissan Serena and I'm here at a top secret test track in Japan to try it out. Nissan calls the self-driving tech ProPilot and for now it's a bit like very sophisticated cruise control. The first version uses a monocamera to scan the road ahead and it's able to brake, accelerate and steer on its own, but only in a single lane situation. Let me explain. To engage ProPilot you tap the button here on the steering wheel, adjust the speed and the distance you want to keep from the car in front and then hit the set button. The small grey steering wheel on the display will turn green when the car starts to drive itself. The car will keep itself in its lane and if the vehicle in front slows down to a complete stop, the ProPilot car will stop too. When the car in front moves ahead, the ProPilot car will take off as well. It's great for bumper to bumper traffic. That really is the extent of its self-driving ability for now. Look, ProPilot isn't as advanced as Tesla's self-driving ability or Benz's autonomous driving system. It's partial autonomy. But Nissan says that by 2018, ProPilot will advance to the point where it can change lanes. And then by 2020, it will be able to drive itself through urban environments, even intersections. Why put ProPilot on a people mover? Well, Nissan said they want to bring autonomous cars to everyday people. And here in Japan, people movers are hugely popular like our SUVs. In Europe, ProPilot will debut on the Qashqai SUV in 2017. What about Australia? Well, Nissan are keeping very tight-lipped about that. Well, that was just a very quick taste test of Nissan's first self-driving car, the Serena. Now, the Serena won't be coming to Australia, but the self-driving technology which is inside the Serena will eventually be rolled out to Nissan's all over the planet, including Australia. It's fantastic to see affordable brands like Nissan getting behind autonomous driving. Autonomous driving shouldn't be about luxury. It should be about mobility for everybody.